Hello there, Mikey, Mikey, Mikey here, and welcome back to another episode of some Minecraft Survival. As you can see, the trees have started to grow. We're getting a few more. Let's uh, actually hop down off here. Oh, I've looked at myself there. Down we go. Press the wrong buttons even more. That's how we do it here on the channel. But yes, guys, the jungle trees have tried. Jungle trees. Oh, this is anyway. Let's let's leave that. Uh, the jungle trees have wrapped their way around here at the moment. It's taken quite a long time. The jungle trees actually give a lot more saplings though than the dark oak wood trees. As you can see, yes, they are actually uh, multiplying now. We've got a few more of them around here, but my goodness, they're very stingy with their uh, with their saplings. Sometimes one tree will give just the four saplings to regrow the same tree again. I mean, quite often they do that. Um, I think we've had one which only gave me three as well, which is very annoying, but we're still we're still getting there We've got the spy cows these cows keep you know You keep turning around and they're looking at you. They're looking at you. They're watching what's happening these two cows I don't know what they're planning, but I'm watching you right back cows, but anyway <laughs> The spruce trees are growing. Uh, we've got acacia trees multiplying like crazy. They're brilliant They give you lots of saplings all the time So we've managed to get look how many of them we've got as we go through here. We've got loads of them We've got a lot of birch as well wrapping around as well uh, and a load of oak trees As you can see the line is growing out there still nothing around the other side at the moment because that's gonna take a bit of Terraforming and stuff like that. I don't know actually if this spruce tree is gonna grow. Let's move this little one This poor little sapling. There we go. You can get some sunlight little buddy. Um but yes guys today after we've checked this very small uh, amount of updates in here uh, We're going to be moving to do a different little project look I have uh, all I've done is sort of rearranged this I don't know if this was in the last episode even so it's a little um, I've just done a bit more to the furnaces just to put these little shelves here uh, which I think look quite nice. And we've got some axes on the wall and some pictures. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it, guys. Also, in between episodes, I managed to trap a zombie villager down here. But sadly, when I went away to get the golden apples, he, in fact, despawned, which was such a shame. Because that could have been the lumberjack. That could have been him. So... Uh, when we actually get to our uh, temporary episode chest, which again has moved, it's no longer this one. This is the uh, this is now the sapling chest. I think this has just got saplings, yeah, and leaves uh, and vines and that in it. But if we hop through the wood pile, we can see the project we're going to start on today and the brand new temporary episode chest is just here. And let's have a look at what we've got in here. Then we've got a lot of different types of wood because obviously wood is free flowing at the moment. I've got those golden apples. We only had four uh, back at the house, so I've bought them here just in case at night time I'm able to trap um, a, or yeah, a zombie villager and cure him uh, and we will have our lumberjack. I've also got one of each type of axe except for diamond here which is uh, cool which I'm going to show you something that I'm going to do that well similar to what we've done in there with the picture frames uh, but yeah we're going to uh, in fact intact uh, <laughs> we're just going to leave these in here for now because we don't want to fill up our inventory space um, and also let's put the rails in there for the moment But yes, we've got some wool as well because we are going to need a bed But yeah, we are doing the Lumberjack's house today guys So this is very exciting This will be the area complete once this is done We'll be able to really start shaping the trees around it um, And getting it finished Excuse me, I, I don't have a cold It's just a bit of hay fever fun We had a barbecue yesterday uh, Which was absolutely amazing seeing everyone I ate so much food guys It was ridiculous um, I'm a big fat pig today. <laughs> I literally, We were going to cook some more of the food earlier on and I just could not eat any more of it. I'm so stuffed um, from, from all that food yesterday. I, I haven't yet had a big meal today. So, yeah, later on I might pick up what we've got left because we've got so much left. But anyway, quickly, let's get what we wanted. What was it? It was... Where's the spruce wood? It's right here. It's right here in my inventory. Right, so we're going to take some spruce wood and we're going to make the floor out of spruce wood here uh, instead of the birch wood of the uh, of the lumber mill or lumber yard as it were we're just going to chuck a load of this spruce wood down here just like the um, the floors in our house uh, and in the houses around the village because this is still close enough to the village where a house can fit some of the same style except for the fact this is going to have a lot more wood in it we are dropping killer frames are we done we're done it might just be a hiccup it's fine we're back again silly silliness um but uh, let's chuck these in. I don't think we're going to have enough. I think we have to make a handful more. Oh, look, it's going to be so close. Especially if I put them like that. We'll get another little frame drop here. I don't know what this is, but we are completely... We're full up with space, but look at it. All the way down to one frame. Guys, I'll sort it out as usual. This is a, a new record for, I think, how early this has been. Lovely. That's all sorted. And let's get straight back into this. So, oh, we're out by two. What a Actually, we've got some spruce slabs here. There's no point in wasting them. There we go. They could definitely go down there. In fact, we should have made the whole floor out of slabs. 
but I've forgotten that because I'm a burk. But never mind. Okay, so off we go now. Let's get some. We've got. We should have some acacia wood here as well, and we're going to need quite a lot of this. We're going to make a stack for now. Um, added to the little bit that we have already, but let's see if we can uh, make the most out of this. So I followed the same pattern as this as well as the um, lumber yard with our lovely little corner areas. We'll pick up that egg there. That will come in handy. Um, yeah, so we've got the corner areas. We've got the little jungle bits on the corners as well. Um, so for now, let's just let's just get this looking like a proper house. So where's our jungle slabs? There we go, uh, or our jungle wood. Sorry straight on there in fact let's put that next to our other stuff oh I've thrown my axe I'm throwing stuff about now right bit of that lovely and this is going to be the little door frame area and chuck in the jungle planks on each corner lovely stuff now this yeah so this is going to be a, it's going to be a little square house I don't think that's too much of a problem uh, but we can do something else with it uh, to make it so it is it does have a little bit more depth which we'll see in a minute uh, but I have got some ideas for it so let's keep chucking this up like this for the moment um, I'm around here oh hello I've fallen down what's this bit oh that is the door <laughs> I didn't know where I was then that was, that was a bit confusing right let's chuck the dirt there up we go and let's just keep doing this and now we can come across there which is great and we're just going to get this bottom floor done for the moment. Oh, we are running out of wood already again. It takes a lot of blooming wood. But I love this acacia wood so much. I think it's beautiful. Right, okay. Bit of this. No, I've pressed. There we go. Lovely. Let's get some of this down here. Ah, oh, fallen. Come on. Okay, so that's a, that's a three high house for the moment. Um... Yes, I think that's uh, that's pretty darn cool. So now we're gonna have to start thinking about the stairs, um, about where the, where the stairs are gonna go because we do want an upstairs in this house, uh, maybe even an attic as well, maybe following the same sort of thing as as uh, as the other one. But do we go with an acacia wood slab staircase just as something a little bit different? So if we go like this, I think that's quite nice actually. Little one of these, different to just the stairs. I don't know. I mean, we can give it a go. It might be all right, but we, we really should have made it out of spruce to fit with the flooring. So, sorry, we're going to have to take it all out again. That was a complete waste of time. Um, and it is actually getting night time. Um, so it would be a good idea. Let's just quickly make this bed as well, because he's going to want a bed in his house. And I did bring some white wool. And let's... Uh, where are we going? Chuck that across there. We've got some oak wood planks. They will do. And there we go. We've got a nice white bed made. So we'll chuck this down for now on the bottom floor. And is it dark enough to sleep? Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, lovely. We'll have a little quick sleepy sleeps. Oh, I should have actually waited for a zombie. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We've got plenty of time to do that. Right, let's go make some more spruce wood for this. Because uh, I think this, this could be okay. Do we have... There it is. Do that. Chuck a load of this in. And there we go. We've got some more spruce wood slabs. Okay. Okie dokie. So let's go. Yeah, this so this corner I think will be a good idea. Um, so chuck that like that. Going up. Lovely stuff. And then they'll probably want to go another two high because... That. And then we'll do... That. So that'll be the level for the second floor. Yes, that should be. Yeah, that should be nice. And we could all. Yeah, we could make this whole. This could be the floor now. So we can start doing. Or the ceiling of this room. Uh, and doing it slabs will give us that little bit more height to the room, which I think will be a good idea. Right, okay. We'll leave that for the moment. We don't need to do much more with that. Right, guys. What I might do now is cut it off because I'm going to go through some ideas and then bring you back when this is done. Um, but we, what we've also got out here is, as I was saying about this being a self-sufficient sort of area, if we take this jungle wood, turn it all into jungle wood planks, lots of sticks we're going to need. And then let's half these sticks here and get these jungle wood fences. Uh, and that should be actually enough. We can definitely use the leftover. But what I was thinking was chucking a little fenced off area just behind here 
to you know, sort of what we've done with the farm just to keep some chickens um, and I think that might be a really cool idea so we can be very self-sufficient so we're just gonna chuck this in the back here put it along and yeah I think this will be quite nice we need a gate as well so we have a lot of fences left actually as well so that'd be brilliant because we're gonna need them around here um, you know to put around the area for um, you know, the beautiful little uh, one second, I'm, I've absolutely lost my train of thought because I'm too busy trying to make, figure out how to make a gate. Right, there we go. <laughs> so, yes, no, to, to do the sort of fenced off areas, yeah, just, uh, you know, this is the living lumberjack quarters. So we don't want, we don't want all the trees growing there. Uh, but yes, there we go. So we've got that. We are going to need to somehow get those chickens. And I think there are quite a few around this area. Here we go. So let's see if we can get ourselves some seeds. Actually, I think I have some in the chest in here. And we can get some of these chickens because every egg that I've been collecting I've also just been throwing it to try and get more chickens yes we've got loads of seeds right okay so where's chickens I can see one through there as well no that's a cow that's one of those cow chickens different types all right come on you let's go let's lure you back come on we've got a place for you to be yeah we're coming to a nice home we promise not to eat you sort of don't really promise at all come on Come on. Lovely, right. Follow me through into the gate or into the enclosure. And lovely, right, okay. That's number one. Right, another chicken, and that will be enough. We only need two to get this whole thing going. Uh, I was also thinking about a cow as well for, for maybe, you know, self sufficiency to have a bit of milk. Uh, just one dairy cow, and we are, well, we have a lot of cows around here. Hello, Mr. Chicken. We'll take the egg as well, actually. Might get us a few more. Right, come on then. That's it. Off we go. Off we go. So yes, also going by the rule of this lumber area, which you know, which we've talked about, is um, I'm going to try and use every type of wood inside the house. So we've done spruce, we've done acacia, we've done jungle planks, we've done oak logs, um, those usual things. Um, but yes, the rest will come along as we're doing it. Right? Okay. Come on then. Come on, Mr. Chicken. Come and meet your new friend. Come on then, in you come, in you come. That's it, that's both of you over here. Lovely, all right, there we go. So we've got his own chicken coop. Uh, of course, I'm gonna build some little structure for them to stay in sort of the one like we have at the farm, uh, but that is brilliant. The cow might be, uh, I don't know what to do with the cow. I might tether it up to a post or something and just keep it like that. I'm not too sure whether we'll have an enclosure or not, but I'm gonna have a think about it. But this is brilliant. So this is gonna be his sort of, garden area here so it's all kept in you know enclosed with uh with this so yeah i think it's gonna look beautiful anyway guys i'll bring you back so you don't have to watch me trying to figure out what the heck i'm gonna do because <laughs> i'm gonna it's gonna be a bit of thinking here um but yes guys i'll i'll bring you back after i've had a think hello we are back and uh if we have a quick turn around we can see that a little bit has gone on uh, it's looking pretty nice. I've actually put, it, I've even started decorating a bit of the outside with this little log here. Uh, another little stump there for when he wants to do a little bit with the axe, maybe some like personal wood cutting. Um, and another little stump here. Um, and as you can see, we're following the same sort of design. We've got all the jungle, um, the jungle uh, logs, sorry, uh, as the sort of band around it, the same as we've done with that one. But let's go inside where the fun actually starts. I completely changed my idea of what I was going to do and I'm actually loving it so much. So if we go in, we can see that on this side we've got a little kitchen area, but above it we have a little area where if we go up the stairs, we can see that there is the sleeping area here. And as you can see, I've also cut a bit out of there. We'll go to that in a second. But yes, guys, I love the way this looks. And if we just quickly chuck these uh, jungle wood slabs down there. And what should we do? Should we put a couple of trapdoor shelves maybe like this? Oh, hello. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, hello. that looks quite... So that would go like that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want it, but I mean, it looks nice. <laughs> so let's take that down. But yeah, what about these uh, like that? Should we do them like that or maybe up like this? Don't know. Just their own personal little shelves. They'll be. They'll definitely be more done to this area. Uh, but I just wanted to get this. You know, get a bed down. I really like this idea of going to sleep here and overlooking what we are going to build now, which is going to be a personal fireplace. Of course, it is. I've run back, got some nether rack. Uh, I've got some stone bricks here, and I've also got some stone slabs, so we can see what we're going to do here. I think. 
How many does it need to be though? Can you actually do it? We've got the, we, let's put the netherrack in here. Oh no, I've forgotten a flint and steel for goodness sake. I've forgotten a blooming flint and steel. I'll have to head back and get that. But for now, we won't be able to light it, but we will be able to put this around the flooring. So I'm thinking like this, maybe with the stone slabs, or would they be in the floor? Maybe in the floor, that would actually work quite well. Or well, it definitely can't be like that, of course, because we've got the spruce wood underneath it. So yeah, let's take out all this wood. And hopefully two blocks away won't be too bad, but I'm thinking that maybe that's a terrible decision uh, and maybe that will be far too close. Um, we could be in for a uh, for a burnt down house here if we're not careful. So let's put these in like this. I think I've done this wrong. Have I done this wrong? No, I've done it fine. Um, and yes, yeah, so we're going to chuck in. I have to take... No, we didn't actually. No, we didn't have to do that at all. Quickly, put the dirt back. Core my inventory is absolutely full up. Right, if we put this like this. Uh, and I was going to... See, I'm wondering what this is going to look like. Oh, these are going to need to be slabs as well, aren't they? If the fire's going to be like that. I don't know here. I'm very worried that that will burn down. But I want to curve this area off. So if we curve this off like that. I think that's a bit too big, isn't it? A bit too big of an area. Possibly, maybe, don't know. Uh, can we make some stick, uh, so, sorry, some stone brick stairs, actually? Yes, we can, and this might work quite nicely. Oh, no, look at the space. Quick, throw the uh, throw that block on the floor. I'm going to actually do this quickly, and do that, and then put this there. Yeah, that might be quite nice for the... Uh, for the old thing. Right, okay, to take that away, we're also gonna need some stone bricks here. So, is this gonna be all right looking like this, or should we box it off a bit more? I don't think that's too bad, actually. No, that's fine, that can stay out like that. Uh, and we're gonna actually build it all the way up. So if we just quickly put some of them down there and come up here, we can build this all the way to the top of the house. The roof obviously isn't done, um, but I will get that done. Don't you worry in between episodes. That will be my little bit of homework for myself that I love making. Oh, we got enough for this. Hopefully we should have perfectly enough. Oh, we've got one over, which is fine. It's better than not enough. Right, let's run around here, jump down, and have a look at what that looks like. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Uh, the, only, the only worry is, of course, whether the house is going to burn down, whether we will indeed need to take these bits away. Um, which may be the case and I might just do that now anyway see what it looks like as well We haven't got enough stone bricks for it. I shall make some more I have to cook some more up in the uh, Furnaces behind but I think we might do that and put those up to there. Yeah, that will look good actually Let's get some cooking come here you. Oh I think I used it all. Oh no wait We might have some in here too That's absolutely useless isn't it? Okay, there's another project for me to do in in, uh, in episodes. Right, okay, the next thing that I wanted to get done was we have all these picture frames and I'm thinking that this wall here is an absolutely perfect wall so you see it straight as you come in to do this. Oh, unless we do it up in this... No, no, this is fine. So let's get these picture frames wherever they are. There they are. And let's also get these down here. Uh, we've got this one and we've got the one that we've already started using which is fine. That won't affect it. And we do this. Is that okay? No, I'm thinking we take that one down, move this torch, put that there. Perfect. That is lovely. And we chuck in the wood one there. We're going to put in the... Oh, we've got it already. We're going to put the stone one in next. We're going to put the iron in next and then the gold axe there. Um, we haven't got a diamond one and I'm not prepared to use up some of our diamonds uh, on one of these. That will be... You know, that we haven't got... We've got barely enough diamonds as it is and we're going to be wanting armor soon. But one day we might have a diamond one in here. Um... Or we could just say that, you know, the Lumberjack has the diamond one, but I think that looks really cool. Just seeing all the different types of axe there, I think that's great. I was thinking of maybe doing something around the fireplace with them, but I think they'll burn. Do picture frames burn? I don't know, guys. I should look that up. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of pleased with this. I think actually with those bits filled in, it will start to look a little bit nicer. What about also... No, we can't. We can't do anything else with that. That's fine. It's just a little personal fire. I also need some iron grating, don't I? So I can put that around it to stop anyone from walking into it. But I think, I think that that's going to be okay now. I think we're pretty fireproof as long as these ones will be filled in with brick. Um, but yes, guys, also, let's see what we have here then. We have some wood that we're going to use. What shall we use for this? Shall we use spruce? Nah, spruce is the same colour as the floor. Jungle wood, maybe? Hmm. If we make some jungle stairs and then... 
We also let's make a pressure plate. I don't think you can make that jungle. I think that's just a wooden pressure plate. Wooden pressure plate. We've got some fences, which is wonderful. I managed to use some of those fences, obviously, up there. Um, I'll see. That was going to be... Okay, so we can make a nice little seating area in the corner here. Again, I hope that isn't too close. That's going to be nice by the fire. Um, and maybe we can even... No, there we'll put some plants, I think. Um, I was going to do a table, though. Shall, would a table fit in here? If we were to do a nice long table. Don't know if you... Oh, no. Pressure plates don't work like that. Pressure plates, you have to put them um, with a bit of... Uh, they can't attach to each other. So we might have to go with... Where's my axe? Oh, of course, I've just used it for that. <laughs> and I don't have enough. Um, excuse me, I'm just going to quickly... Oh, no. Okay, that's quite cool, though. Oh. Hmm. We think like that. Or is it better like this? Probably better like that, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. Anyway, come here, please, you. I need you for one second. Let's take this off. And let's see what this looks like. Oh, I mean, that's about... That's so high up. It's ridiculous. Look at how high up it is. It's too high. It's, it's like we need one in between. The slabs are actually perfect for it. And we can't go one lower. Um, I mean, we can try, actually. There might be an idea. What if we do this? And then can we attach a slab... Obviously not good. Okay, next idea <laughs> is... Uh, I mean, I know this is the wrong type of wood. Okay, yeah, okay, we can do two stairs together. Let's, uh, let's move it into the place where it is now, though. Move that away from there. Take these down. It's just, it is, it's quite fun, I suppose, trying to see what works in Minecraft. Um... And how to make different things right do that like that it was better where it was before goodness I'm being so indecisive again what about that is that okay yeah I think that's good enough that will do so he's got a little table here yeah I like that all right okay um, all quickly better go up and have a little sleep in this bed oh, there we go have a little sleep in the bed um, um, there's not really a way we can get a pile of wood in here for him, is there? We can't really get, you know, next to the fire it would be cool to have like, a pile of wood. But I don't think that really works. Nor would a whole log really work, to be honest. No. No, that's fine. We don't need to worry about that too much. We'll put a plant in there. Um, okay, so the next thing we need to do is build up these oak wood corners. Because now we are up to probably the height that we want to be at. Uh, I think this is going to go down one more because we're going to start the stairs like this. I've already put one down. Oh, no, it's on the other side, isn't it? It doesn't matter either way. Uh, there's going to be that. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> I'm getting confused myself. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, I've, I've put my the one... Uh, oh, I've got one more. One more, Dark Oak. Don't worry. The, this, is, this is absolute progress here. There we go. Two bits. Perfect. That's that roof complete. Down we go. Let's uh, chuck this in the corner. We can jump up. Wonderful. And let's do the other ones. Come down here. Try not to break our legs too much. One more. Lovely. And the last one. Let's get this done. We'll be able to see a little bit how it how it's looking. Oh, that's too many, sir. That's too many. Right. Okay. Jump down here, jump down here where it's a bit safer. Oh, we still managed to hurt ourselves. Wonderful. Okay. So what I'm going to do, guys, uh, guys, dies. <laughs> oh, it's just ridiculous. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to quickly go back because uh, I think I have some of these at the uh, at home. Um, I'm going to get the stone bricks. Uh, I'm going to get the flint and steel, which I've forgotten. Um, and iron bars as well. Get all the last things just to complete the last bits of this house. I'm going to get the roof done as well and then I will bring you back for the completion of this beautiful house uh, and we'll be rounding off the episode like that. But guys, just quickly, I love the way this looks with it. It was nice when we when I um, was messing around with it and making the whole ceiling spruce, but I really like what that looks like with those just poking out the bottom. But yes, guys, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, are you ready to see the finished house? Uh, well, almost finished house. We have a couple more things just to chuck in there first. But 
Let's turn around and have a look. Yes, we have a roof. We have windows. We have all the things that a house should have, really. Look at this. The fireplace going up through the back there, I think, looks brilliant. And look at what you can see coming out of the chimney. We can actually see some smoke. I put a bit of fire up there, a bit of, you know, an extra piece of the uh, netherrack, because obviously I bought three pieces. Um, and I chucked one in there, and now you can see the smoke coming out of it, and that is amazing. That looks like a real chimney. Uh, which is brilliant. Uh, what I, uh, what we are going to do just quickly is just chuck around a couple of these. Hopefully that should be all right just there. Um, and just the odd one around just to sort of decorate this area. Uh, we only have seven, so that's, uh, that's them used up. But do we have our shears? Yes, we do, actually. So we could sneakily take a load of these trees. Because these trees are going to have to get smashed down soon. Um, so... Let's take a load of this, take a load of these leaves, and look, just like that, we've got 44 leaves um, to chuck around. So we've got some nice ivy growing there as well around this side. Oh, this is the, no, this is the blooming thing. <laughs> I'll get mixed up here. Wait a minute, we didn't have ivy. I haven't put any of that down yet. Uh, so we'll put a, ch a couple more around here. Chuck these in, growing up a little bit higher there. Maybe not that one. There we go. One in between those two. Yes, that is lovely. Um, and we won't bother doing too much more. What we will get done is some more stumps because we really want these stumps around this area. This area is going to have to get completely cleaned out. Um, actually, we'll take some of that ivy and we can put it on here just quickly as well. Get loads done. Look at all the jungle trees growing. It looks so good. I can't wait to see the finished product, guys. Hopefully in between episodes while I'm working. I mean, there's not that much to work on around here now. Um, but I will just try and get some more trees uh, sorted for us we want this to start looking amazing I mean it's already looking pretty cool I'm well pleased with it let's chuck a bit of vintage up there um, maybe some coming down from there that's that's a good little place anywhere to be honest on this jungle woods fine because uh, that's sort of in the corners where it gets a little bit more a little bit damper um, I'm worried about putting vines on this side because it there's a possibility it'll catch fire um, also, let's just chuck a bit of vines on these. Perfectly fine to do that. Right, perfectly vine. <laughs> great joke, great joke. Right, okay, guys. I have also... Ah, oh, I've completely forgotten because I've used it all up on the windows. I, I did get some... Uh, a little bit of birch wood, which we're just going to sprint back and get. I could have, could have cut down a tree behind the... That would have been a job. Why didn't I just cut down a tree? Donut. But anyway, let's go to this. Take just the single piece of birch. That's all I need. Um, and then run back around. Hello, horsey. How are we doing? Uh, don't worry. You will be moved in a minute. Um, or in a little while. I'm just going to chuck one piece down there just like that. Forgotten to make the door. But if we head inside, we can see that the fire has beautifully been made. Um, that is just lovely. Uh, we've also got a decoration up there, which I think is great. This goes into it beautifully. We've got a couple of torches. I like that idea. So the windows from the inside, you can see they've also got some torches with them, which is great. Um, what else is new? We've got picture frames here and here. Uh, we've got another little picture there of a tree, which is brilliant. Um, I don't know if there's that much more done. We can see the window here from the inside, which overlooks um, a sort of garden area, uh, which is great. But yes, guys, I think it is all looking pretty wonderful uh, around here. And let's quickly just put a little plant pot and flower in the corner. There we go. Uh, and I think we're there. I actually think that's probably the whole shebang. Are we... Yeah, I think we're pretty much sorted. So the only thing left to do is to trap a uh, a villager, a zombie villager, and uh, cure him. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Oh, of course, there is one thing left to do, uh, and that is to door off this finally. So oak wood, I think, is the best for a door. So we can get that in here, get the door on, and there we go. This is complete. Uh, actually, one more thing. Oh, I don't have any. I mean, this is going to look poo. It doesn't look amazing. I mean, I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to, we need to do something for this door actually because that's not looking great. And also, let's put a couple of them in there. Um, make this area look a bit better. There's one there and one around this side coming out like that. Lovely stuff. Yes, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. It's been brilliant finally getting this sorted out. I'd like a, a higher view of what this area looks like, actually. Maybe I should build up and start the episode, uh, the next episode like that. But we do have a lot of things to crack on with in the next episode. But I hope you're happy with this. Maybe a little border would have been... No, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with the way this house looks. I think it looks really cool with its nice little chimney and the smoke coming out of it that seems to have stopped. Is there, is there smoke there? Yeah, there's a bit of smoke. We've seen it. But yeah, I hope you have uh, enjoyed being here at the Lumberjack area. I hope Now all we need is a, uh, a villager so we could... 
we can see, you know, we can actually get our lumberjack in here. But oh, I'm so pleased with the way this has looked. This is looking, sorry. The only thing I'm not pleased about, actually, is the fact that this house has become the same size <laughs> as that. I wanted the house to be a little bit smaller. Um, but never mind, it's a nice house. It looks good inside. It's a cool little area. I mean, he's got all the wood in the world, so he's been able to build, you know, he's, he, this is his land. So he's made himself a nice little wooden house uh, using, you know, I think nearly every type of wood, if not every type of wood. Yeah, well, I think we've used every type of wood. Yeah, I'm sure we have. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it, guys. So yes, if you have enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe and please join me for the next episode. But apart from that, guys, take care. Bye-bye.